Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. I work as a creative video director and editor. And in this video, we're going to show you the best way to edit your GoPro videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. And it doesn't matter if you've got a relic of a computer, this is going to allow you to edit them as smooth as butter. Let's get into it. I'm in Premiere Pro right now. I've got a 2.7K 120 clip and I've also got a 4K 60 clip. So I'm just going to take a look at this 4K 60 clip here. And if I'm going to go scrolling back and forth here, you can see it's smooth, but then it's start. Uh, see, I'm pressing keys and it's kind of a bit jerky and a bit juddery. If I go kind of slowly, there's at least a two or a three second lag before we kind of get anywhere. So let's kind of look at the 2.7K clip, which is 120 frames per second. Same kind of thing. There's a lag. If I start scrubbing back and forth, especially if I go back, it's like you can see it's it's just juddery, just juddery, 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 which is kind of a bit frustrating to edit with. And if you've got an older computer or a computer that the spec isn't as good as it could be, this tip is going to save you a whole lot of hassle and a whole lot of frustration because there is nothing more frustrating than working with footage that's juddery and just You want it as smooth as butter. So this is the magic. And I'm gonna do it for two of these clips. I'm gonna highlight the two of them. I'm gonna right click on them. I'm gonna select proxy. I'm gonna select create proxies, not attach, not reconnect, but create. I'm gonna do an Apple ProRes 422. It's 1024 by 540. I'm gonna select okay. That's going to open up Adobe Media Encoder. Now what this is going to do to explain the technical side of it, it is creating a very low res version of the 4K and the 2.7K footage that I'm telling it to recreate. Now what that means is that because it's low res, it's going to be incredibly easy to work with and it's going to be, you can spread this thing on toast. It'll be like a hot knife, hot to, anyway, right. It does it all automatically. Once we drag it in here, we can see that it's already working. It's got one done. It's now doing the second one. Let me jump back into Premiere and we can take a look at this footage now and go, okay, what's happening here? Ooh, it is very smooth. That's the 2.7K one. This is the 4K60. Look at that. Look at how smooth that is. So let me drag one of these in here. So we've created two proxy files. These are low res. As you can see, they are like smooth. Look at that. It's insane. For the proxy files to work in Premiere, you need to toggle proxies on and off. And to do that, there's a special icon that you can drag in. It's very easy. It's under the window here. If we select the button editor, and if we look here, we can find it somewhere. There we go. Toggle proxies. Drag that in. Select OK. And then you can turn them on or turn them off. And you can see because of the resolution that we render this at in media encoder, it's, there's a slight little bit of a crop. See? See? The bars on the side? Epic. So now you know proxies are on or off. It's a little trick that I use to remind me to turn off proxies when you render the video, because that's the most important thing. You need to render the video, but to get the full resolution, turn off the proxies, just to be on the safe side. That's it. If your computer is 100 years old, this will still work. As long as you have Media Encoder and Adobe Premiere, this is still going to work. So even if you've got a laptop, it doesn't matter. This will work. And it makes working with GoPro footage, or any footage for that matter, incredibly easy. And it's just a less frustrating experience. And that's what we all want, right? Less frustration! <sighs> anyway, my name is Vic Barry. If you found this video useful, then please consider hitting subscribe. Maybe like, maybe drop a comment. If you've got any Premiere Pro tips for editing GoPro footage, drop your own comment in and your own tip. We'll see you in the next episode of this vlog. And until then... Don't stop fighting for yourself.